here we are again square number three now i haven't done hard about this one for a while i wanted to teach you how to do some bubbles so this is what i've come up with now i've only got a little bit left of the three colors i chose so i'm gonna use this one on here keep this the shade i'm hoping i'm gonna have enough and then use this one for the middle so the new stitch this week is going to be making a bobble all the rest of it's double crochet which you all should be quite expert at now the usual things we need the colors that you're going to use these are out of my stash again um, a pair of scissors hook size five and a darning needle okie dokie yep yeah, so this is the square we're going to do today then instead of working in a round this week we're going to be working backwards and forwards backwards and forwards so keeping your stitch count is really important so that you get the right you get the square shape that you're that you're after now these bobbles that i'm going to teach you to make they can be put in any sort of pattern you like so you, i've done them in a zigzaggy pattern you could alternate them you could do diamond shapes you could write letters hearts whichever whichever way you chart it if you do a little chart of it you can put these bubbles on anything and you can also do them different colors to the background but as we're still beginning i thought i'd do them the same color as the background there's just a few rules that you need to remember when doing bobbles is that after you've done a bobble row you need to do a line of double crochet and also keeping your distance because you don't want your bobbles too close to each other or they'll look squished up okay and with all that being said we'll get started shall we okay i'll move this one out of the way now i'm going to start with the pink because i seem to have a bit more of that left than i did the the deeper maroony color and we're going to start with a slip stitch like so now because we're working backwards and forwards we're gonna we need to do we need to do a chain for us to start our crocheting on so for this one i'm going to chain 28 so that's one 28 so there we go i'll crochet 28 chains now i want to do a line of double crochet so we don't crochet into this first stitch here, we crochet into the next one there. So we're going to crochet, a double crochet all the way along. So because you've, you've missed your first chain, you should end up with 27 double crochets going along. And that's how many double crochets you need to have going all the way up your square. So I'm going to do 27 along here. So you should all be really pra well practiced at doing double crochets now. So I'm going to fast track this to the end of the row. And you want to do two of these. So we're going to do this row with 27 crochets. And then we're going to do another row that's exactly the same. but. I'm going to go away and crochet to the end and then I'll show you how we turn around okay so we're getting so we get down to the last two stitches so we want to crochet into that one there and that one there and we should have 27 double crochets going along so now we want to turn our work so we're going to chain one which is class as a turning chain in this one and then we're just going to go through so we're right in between in between the, that that top of that stitch there and we're just going to do another 27 double crochets all the way down now the count is quite correct quite important because if you're doing a pattern of bobbles you need to make sure that you're your count stitches is correct or the pattern that you want to achieve with your bobbles won't happen unless you want a random pattern obviously but 
um, in this case, I need to, you need to have a, um, an, a proper count of stitches. So my advice is whenever you do a row, count your stitches as you go so that um, you know that once you get to the other end that you're still going to have 27 stitches left. Um, otherwise you end up with wonky bobbles and a not very straight edge of your square and then you know that you've gone wrong somewhere. And then you have to pull it all out and work out where you did it and nobody wants that. So my advice is to count and count every time you do a row which is important after you've done a bobble row, which I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so I've got to the end of here. So now we've done two rows of double crochet. Then we're gonna turn it around again and do one chain. Okay, so this is the bobble row. Now the bobble row, you always work on the wrong side so that your bobble comes out on the right side. So you always work a bobble on the wrong side. Now, I don't know if there's any knitters out there, but when you knit a bobble, you knit one and it stays at the front on the right side of your work. When you crochet a bobble, you do it on the wrong side so it comes out on the right side of your work. So you'll see what I mean. So we're going to do seven double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's seven double crochets. And now we're gonna make our bobble. So we're gonna start with a treble and we're gonna leave four open trebles. So that's one, all in the same stitch. One, two, three and four so you've done four open trebles which means you haven't done the last bit to finish it off and then we're going to put our yarn round and we're going to pull it through all the five loops giving it a good tug like so and then we're going to do another seven Mate, the tension is important here because you see why you do it on the wrong side because your bobble will pop out onto the right side. So we do another seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to make another bobble. So yarn over into the stitch yarn over only through the first two because we're not going to finish off the treble then we're going to do that four times so that's one two three and four like so and then we're going to pull it all the way through again and then we're going to do another seven double crochets, making sure this one's nice and firm so that our bobble pops out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to make another bobble. We'll come a bit closer. So yarn round in that stitch there. Then yarn round and put it through the two loops, but don't finish off your treble. And then we do that another three times all into the same stitch. Now when you're following a pattern and it says make a bobble, it might say leave two open trebles, leave three open trebles. But in this case, I found that four open trebles gave me a really nice big bobble. So I did four. And then pull it all the way through like so. And then you just finish off your row with three double crochets. One, two, and three. 
then you're going to do one chain and then you're going to turn it like so and there's your bubbles all sitting nice and proud on your right side of your row now every every time after we've done a row of bubbles we're going to do a row of double crochet i'm just going to show you this one this time round because I want to show you where you double crochet into the top of your bobble to make sure you've still got 27 stitches. So we, we go into the first three. So that's one. You've done your one turning chain. And two. And then your next, your next third one, right, this is your bobble. And your next third one is that one in there. Next to your bobble there. You can see that. So you do a double crochet in there. Now we still want to have a stitch here. So on the top of your bobble, you'll, you should see a V shape on top of your bobble. You don't want to go into these bits here because they're part of your treble. So if I turn it like that, if I turn it the other way around, you can see that your chains all your little v-shaped chains are all following each other you see the one on top of that bobble there and then you carry along and there's one on the top of that bobble there okay so what you want to do is you want to crochet just into that bit there and put a double crochet there and then that's your next bit of chain there so you want to go into there like so and then we just double crochet to the next bobble so there should be seven in between so if you count one two three four five six so there should be seven in between each bobble so your next one see there's one one stitch there and then the other one on top of the bobble so you go in that one there for your seventh one then you go into the top of your bobble one like so and then we want to do another seven so that's one two three four five six and then we've got seven which is that one there like so we want to go into the top of the bobble to crochet there and then we should have the last seven to do as we go finish the end of the row so you need to do that after every bobble row so I'm not going to I'm not going to bore you with keep filming this row over and over again. I'm just going to film the bobble row so you know where to place your bobbles. Okay, so there you go. So now we're on the wrong side again to do our bobble row. We want to do one chain. And this time we're going to do five double crochets to start with. So that's one two, three, four and five. So we go round into the stitch. That's one. Two. Three. And four. And then through all five loops at once, like so. So now we've zig we're zigzagging our bobbles. But because I started on five and not seven, my bobble's gone to this side. So now I want to do another seven double crochets. So that's one and seven and then I want to place another bobble in this stitch here that's one two three four 
two, three, and four. Then pull it through all the loops. Then another seven, one, seven, and then another one in this one. One, two, three, four, and then we go through all of the loops again. And then we finish off, we should have five to finish off with. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. One chain to turn. And there you have your second row. So I'm just going to go off and I'm going to do the other row off camera. And then I'll show you where to place the next bubbles. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this row. Do one chain. And now I'll show you the count and where to place your next bubble. Okie doke. So now we did seven in the first row. We did five in the next row. So this row we're going to do three to start with. So that's one, two, and three. And then we're going to make a bubble. And pull them through and then the next two bobbles we're going to double crochet seven in between seven and then we're going to make another bobble one two three and four pull that nice and top nice and firmly and this one after your after your bobble is really important to get that nice and tight so it makes your bobble pop out so we need another six more so I did one there so that's two six and seven and one more bobble here one two three and Four. And pull that all the way through and then we just finish off with another seven double crochets so it's all very quite simple and easy as I said before you can place them bobbles anywhere you can make letters patterns that you like heart shapes The possibilities are endless with bobbles. You can do all sorts of things. Okay, so if your bobbles are looking a bit flat on the on your um thing, you can just put your finger in the back of it and give it a encourage it to pop out. A bit like them fidget poppers. Don't know, they're all the rage, aren't they, at the moment with the children? My grandkids have got some. There's your three three um your three going that way so we've just done the bottom of this square so we've just done this bit here so now we're going to be doing we've got two more double crochet rows to do so if you go off and do them so you've got to do two more rows of double crochet and I'll see you back when we do our color change so I'm going to show you a little tip on how to change color so it looks a bit more seam seamless, a little bit more, I um, don't know what the word is, I don't know, professional or tidier probably would be a better word for it. Yeah, that, that'll do. So I'll show you how to join your next colour in to make it look more tidy. <laughs> oh dear, here I go again.
Okay, so meet me back here when you've done two more rows of double crochet and you're making sure that you've got your 27 stitches and I'll show you how to change colour. Okie dokie, see you soon. Okay, so you join me back here where we're about to change colour. So I'm going to do this one here. Now in the last in the last one here, I'm going to pull my yarn through, but I'm not going to finish my double crochet with this colour. I'm going to start it with my new colour. So we just do a slip stitch into there, like so. So that finishes off the pink and then you've joined your new colour there. So we're just going to do one chain. Now you can do this all the same colour. Um, I'm doing it different colours just to, just to, just because. So don't forget to work over your tail again. Then it saves you having to sew it in later. Then you just do three rows in this colour. And then I'm going to change to this colour. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to do my three rows of double crochet and I'll show you again how to join in your next colour. So we started off with a foundation chain of 28 stitches. Then we did a row of double crochet, two rows of double crochet. And then we did a bobble row but we started it on the wrong side so we started off with seven double crochets in a bobble with seven in between then we did five double crochets with a bobble with seven in between and then we started the row with three double crochets with a bobble and seven in between and then did two more rows of double crochet and that's how you get your first little bit okay so I'm going to go off do my three rows of my other colour then I'll come back and show you how to do the bobbles that go that go that way. We're going to go this way this time. And then all you're going to do after that is you're going to do your three rows in this colour. And then you're just going to copy what you did here back on the top again. And that's all there is to this square. So it's quite a quite a simple, easy one gives you a chance to practice a new stitch do the new bobble stitch so you go away and do your three cut three in this color or you can keep it the same color it's up to you I just broke mine up a little bit with a different color and I'll see you back when I change color to the other one okie dokie I'll see you soon okay so you join me back after I've done three rows of double crochet so I'm just going to put one in there and we're going to change the colour again so we put that pull it through there I'm going to cut this one off and then I'm going to join my new colour and finish off that double crochet there see so it sort of gives it a nice a nice clean clean finish clean edge And then I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to work my, because I want these to be on the wrong side, I'm going to work my tail on my wrong side. I know it's my wrong side because my bobble's on my right side. So this is my wrong side. And I need you to do two more rows in this colour of double crochet. So that's, we're going to do two more rows in this colour and then we're going to start the bobbles but we're going to do them the opposite way this time. So again I will just do the bobble rows because you don't want to keep watching me do double crochet lines because that's just tedious to watch I'm sure. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to do these two double crochet rows and then I'll come back and I'll show you where we start our bubble row again okie dokie okay so I've nearly finished doing my second row of my two rows and I'm going to do one chain and turn round remembering that we work our bobbles on the wrong side so we're going to do 
I'm going to start with three double crochets this time. So that's one, two, three, and then make a bobble. Two, three, and four, and put them all the way through. And then you just got to leave, do seven double crochets in between the other two. So that's two and seven. Then we want to make another bobble with our four open trebles. One and two, three and four. And then pull it all the way through. Whoops, missed one. We're making sure this one's fairly tight. I'm going to do seven again one six and seven and one more bobble one two three four pull it through and then we just got to finish off our row with our double crochets which you should have seven I think is the right count so that's three four five six and seven and one chain and turn and this is where you do your double crochet row so I'll just show you again how to crochet over the top of your bobble I'll just do it on the first one here so we just crochet into every stitch, bearing in mind we finished with seven. So if you think, right, I've got to do seven crochets, seven double crochets along here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got to find that seventh one, which hides behind your bobble. So you make sure you put it in there. And then you find the V chain shape and then you crochet it into there. Whoops. And then you just find your next V shape and then crochet into there. So that's one. And then you count seven in between and one bobble and then you should end up with the correct double crochets to start your next bobble round. So I'll quickly Fast forward this bit, and then I'll show you where to place your next row of bobbles. So yeah, it can. It's quite. Um, it's a new stitch. As with most crafts, with most things, you have to do the same thing over and over again to get the desired look you want. There we go. Just finish that row there, and then one chain. So you can see that we've still got this but we're going to be going this way we're going to be going up that way instead of this way so I've done my turning chain so we did three to start with so so we should start with five this time one two three four and five and then we want to do our bobble in the next stitch one two three and four now I'm probably making these bobbles look easy but they can be a bit tricky to get I think it's mainly the tension getting your tension right um, but I've had, I've been crocheting since I was, since I was about 15, so I've had plenty of years of practice. Six and seven. Yeah, so we did five, a bobble, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to do another bobble. Pull them all nice and tight together. 
then do this first one nice and tight so that's one and seven you guessed it yep yeah, making another bubble and then we should have five to finish off with one two three four and five then we're doing our row of double crochet again so I will fast forward it again till I get to the end of the row then I'll show you where to put your next row of bubbles okay here we are again at the end of the row so one turning chain whoops turn around and this time we're going to do seven six and seven and then make a bobble on the eighth one. One, two, three, and four. Then seven again, and seven, and then make another one on the eighth. One, two, three, and four four with another seven one two well if anything you'd have learnt to count by the end of this of these uh, of this square <laughs> all right one two three four five six and seven and then we make our last bubble here And then double crochet into the last three. And there you have it. With your bubbles, but you've got them going the opposite way. Okay, so after you've finished that bobble row, you do another two rows of double crochet. So they look framed up a bit better. So I'll do that, but I'll fast forward it. So here we are. I've finished doing my two rows on here. And I want to change my colour to this one. To do my next three rows. Whoops. So join that colour into there. And I just had enough to finish this section. That's what they call playing chicken with your wool. <laughs> So I'm going to do the same with this and I'm going to play a game and see whether I have enough to do my three rows. I should have, but I'm not sure. So we'll do one chain, turn it round, and then you're going to do three rows in this colour. And then we're going to join, after we've done these three rows, we're going to join our pink in again and do another two rows. I've only got these few rows to do. And that's and that's all the wool I have so fingers crossed I'm gonna have enough to finish off the row should be just about okay yep we're gonna be all right I'm gonna join in our pink Oh, that was close. So you will do this section again. You will just do exactly the same as we did here, but you'll do it up here. So your two rows of double crochet, and then three, five, no, sorry, we started this end, didn't we? So seven, five, and three, with seven double crochets in between, and then two more double crochet rows, three, then this section, then another three, and you just copy this up the top there. And then you sew in all your ends. And then you end up with this. So I know in places that was a bit tedious, because there's a lot of double crochet going on here, but the final effect is really pretty, I think. And you think that you did this, and you did this um, in a blanket, 
how the bobble the bobble effect would be really really cool. You see it zigzagging all over your blanket. And if you did it all the same colours, you'd have your colours following each other as well. So that's another little idea. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing the bobbles with me. I hope you're enjoying doing this tutorial. It's basically a teaching blanket, so there's going to be a lot of um, higgledy-piggledy colours and squares because I am using scrap of my, my own wool stash. I'd like to thank all my subscribers that have already subscribed to me, but if you would like to do square number four next week i will put links to squares two and one in uh, in the description underneath and if you haven't subscribed stick click that subscribe button click the like and also i keep forgetting to say ring put put the bell on because then you be notified every time i upload a video okay then well i hope you all have a lovely week and thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.